Hello and welcome to another update video about VRA. VRA was one of the one two setups we discussed over recent um, weeks, months actually. Uh, maybe not the most recent weeks because it was getting quite boring. Now it's it's finally reacted to the support area and broke out of this corrective price channel to the upside and could be on its way into the wave three target area between 3.1 and 6 cents. Next, we're going to talk about that in this video. I don't believe the long-term chart really. Uh, it is kind of unrealistic given that this move up here could be a wave one and the move down could be a wave two. Well, then, you know, the third wave to the upside would reach unrealistic targets. Um, it is a theoretical projection that the structure gives us. Oftentimes, and that's the harsh reality of the crypto market, these structures fail before they reach um, their full potential. Okay, I mean, Elliott Wave is no crystal ball. It gives you relevant parameters. And I mean, in theory, if everything goes well, this third wave should reach um, $7.98, okay? Or oh, 93. I, I think it is very reasonable to not, um, you know believe those targets actually i should shift it there still because th those are the projections and then yeah but it, it's not um, first of all it doesn't say anything about the timeline in addition to that it's just not realistic okay so uh, again you know uh, keep an we keep an open mind but with these altcoins it's it's worth so disregard those i just want to share with you the overall because we need some kind of a roadmap right um it is worth usually just to focus on the next FIP, okay? And then we go from the from the wave too low, we look at, okay, what's the target for the third wave? And that's what we can see. So the next target is between 3.1 cents and 6 cents. We should first see if it can fill in all the waves to complete wave three. Then we're looking at, okay, wave four pullback. Do we get another wave five? Okay, where could that land? And then we, it, it will depend on where the wave three lands as well. But I could imagine possibly the eight cent level or even 11.5 in wave five. So that's sort of the next projection that we can see here. I'm looking at this structure from the January lows 2023 here to the high that formed in February last year and then to the low in September as a one two setup. And we could now be in this third wave to the upside. Um, again, I gave you sort of a target range there. Minimum would be 3.1 cents, but first ideal target is um, is 4 cents. And then we should get that wave 4 or 5. Looking at the yeah more detailed projection, a bit tricky to say. Um, the, the move up in wave 1 is not the cleanest. It's not the cleanest. Okay, and uh, also this is very choppy here, but we might give it the benefit of the doubt and call it an impulse. In however, again here, you know, it's not a clear five wave move, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt. One, two, then we are we are looking at a three here, four, and a five. To be honest, a third of a third wave rally very often reaches the one hundred percent extension. That's at 2.1 cents, so it could still stretch a little higher. Then get that four, get that five, and then with those five waves, we will then have completed um, all of wave three. That's sort of what I can realistically possibly see for this bull market. Not this, you know, not like eight dollars or something. Um, but this is what I think could happen. It would follow pretty much the structure that Bitcoin is doing as well, like with these four five patterns, another four five pattern, uh, possibly targeting, yeah, I mean, six, eight or even 11 cents. It's still possibly, a, I don't know, eight to 10 X or something. And uh, yeah, I mean, again, it can always go higher and whatever, but let's first see if it can fill in this. And what's the short term support? I mean, if we assume we are in this third wave, what we can typically do as short-term support, because it's usually worth knowing, okay, what's the level that now needs to hold to keep going? And it's often the 50% Fibonacci level. So that is at the moment here at 0 0.0086, 0 0.0086. 
that's the main level. As soon as we see that break, we're likely heading back into the range down there and the breakout failed. So that's an update about VRA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.